here at Sun and Fun, getting into the week a little bit now, and we came over to the core area, they call this area, where this gentleman right here has got quite a display of airplanes. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Alex Rolinski, and we're going to talk about BOT here, BOT aircraft actually called the SC-07 Speed Cruiser, but the company producing it is BOT Aircraft. However, before we get into that, I'm seeing a whole range of airplanes here, and this one, what, what's all this about, Alex? Is it a new thing for you, or what? Yeah, so we, we have a couple different brands that we represent. We do maintenance for, as well as test flying, we're obviously in a quality assurance manual to do these things, and we import them and distribute them and sell them, and we manufacture a couple ourselves as well, as you very well know. So with uh, we started an Aero Affinity Group, which basically allows us to represent multitude of brands that otherwise wouldn't be available to the LSA market, since we have so many resources, and the land being an ideal location for this, we brought in a few extras, so that's what you're seeing here. Here is the uh, wide array of assortment for aircraft. It was really kind of from a, a, a marketing perspective. It was instead of me pushing one aircraft and telling you why you need just this one and why it will fit your mission, I now can offer you really what you're looking for. So if you want a high wing, a low wing, a float plane, a land plane, a tail dragger, a tricycle gear, a pusher, puller, I, we have that. So that's really what it was is to bring to market. So they, Becoming a one-stop shop, for lack of better ways. Excellent. Real nice. So I'm just going to name them off here, and then we'll come back to our subject. The uh, Montair over there uh, from uh, Brazil. The Fusion from uh, Czech Republic, I believe. No, it's uh, Hungary. Hungary. But it's actually Hungary. produced here in the U.S. So. Oh, they're producing it here now. Yeah, that was the plan originally, I knew, so that's yep. interesting to hear that. And this is your S-17, is it not? Uh, correct. That is the uh, Aventura. Uh, the two. Aventura, yeah. Sure and this one does name. have the... Um, Aero momentum engine on it, and then our SLSA is here as well. Ah, okay. Which is over in the uh, light sport area. Yeah, for those that don't that miss this, the Aventura has been a kit for many, many years, then, but is now also SLSA, special light sport aircraft. So, good for you and all that. Thanks. Okay, and now we're back to our subject airplane, which is that bot that I mentioned. It's an easy term to use, really, a speed cruiser. Uh, so, we actually call it the journey now for, um, okay. because it's been around for quite a while, it really hasn't made an impact on the US market until now that we've got it available. So. We kind of rebranded it as the journey. Yeah, it's kind of been around for a while, but always sort of in the background. Like, yeah, uh, yeah there's one back there that has that name. And a lot of traction in Europe. Um, it was very difficult, you know, obviously over the last couple of years with COVID and everything else, but uh, to make a big impact. So now this is really the first show that's been represented since about 2010. So yeah, the aircraft well. has had improvements since then, um, interior-wise, a few others. This one has a little bit of the older model, but um, it does have quite a few updates that have been done to it. And it's a beautiful airplane, as you can see. Do you have any idea how many are flying? Not, obviously, actually, only about one in the U.S., but overseas. Correct. So this is the only one in the U.S. I actually don't know how many are flying overseas. I know there's there's a plethora of them, for sure. Um, okay. They're very popular in Germany and in Central Europe. Yeah, it's out of Germany is where the construction is done. Correct. Now, speaking of construction, uh, it's a mighty smooth-looking thing here. Tell me about how it's made. Yeah, one of the nice things, obviously, you notice there's no strut, um, right? So it's a very clean aircraft. This is a full carbon fiber design. Everything, including the seats, are carbon fiber. Uh, wow. There's very few aluminum parts to this. Um, it does have the bearing to wheels and brakes and a few nice features. It does have a parachute. It's it's similar to a high wing series for light sport, really, is how I ah, compare okay. it. Um, very clean, very light. So you get great performance. You have a lot of cargo room behind the seat. Uh, we'll probably get a picture of that later. <laughs> so you can carry a lot. The other really neat feature about this airplane that yeah, I've like a giant hat rack. I yeah, see. exactly. I mean, that's a great show. big surface back here, and I yep. see it's labeled 44 pounds. So yep, exactly. that's quite a bit of stuff back there. Yep. And it, in fact, it fits weight balance chair. accommodating. Yeah, it'll fit a wheelchair back there, because oh. this is one of the few aircraft that can be configured with hand controls, as oh. we mentioned. Oh. But one of the one of my favorite features about this aircraft, in fact, is, a, is the um, you have the option to remove these wings and tail in a matter of less than 20 minutes. Seriously? So there are three, four pins that actually hold on this wing. Pedal tube disconnects, you disconnect the, the quick disconnect for the lights at the, at the end, and the wing comes out. Um, and then the tail is very similar to that. So you can have this trailerable and transportable in a very short amount of time. Yeah, it only takes two people. Um, like how much short of time? Uh, literally under 30 minutes. Really? Yep, under 30 minutes I can have this aircraft apart and load it onto a trailer. Wow. So if you want to take it places or go places, you have that option. It also cruises very, you know, at a very respectable speed. I can do 100 knots all day. Coming here, I did about 90, obviously not pushing it. Um, but, you know, if you want to go places, this is ideal for that as well. What engine have you got on front This has the 912, 100 horsepower like that. Really um, and being that it is so light and carbon fiber, the performance with that 100 horsepower, I mean, realistically, you could almost get in stall capability because it does have flaps, you know, so I can take off at 400 feet. Really? Even grass strips or, or short runways, you know, obviously you could trailer it in somewhere and take off from the field if you need to. Um, being carbon fiber, lightweight, really helps, though. So. It is a, uh, it's a sleek machine, but I want to observe for the camera here, 
the amount of curvature in that door, which you know obviously disappears once it goes away, but what that's telling you is that this widens out quite a bit, and it looks like the widest point is right about at your shoulders, which is you know that's that's good thinking because that's where a couple of big guys or something would still fit in here. It's, it's more of a bubble um, setup, but obviously both aesthetics and, and fitment. So you can fit two big guys in here, no problem. In fact, you know Brian. Me and Brian have flown this yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And we fit very comfortably. Okay. All right. So um, tell me a little bit about its flight characteristics. Now. How, how does it handle in the air? How does it feel in the air too? Yeah, of course. I'm going to sound pretty much like a salesman here, but uh, but in, in true, honest regard, it's very hands-off. It's a very stable aircraft. You know, especially with the speed and, and being as clean as it is, it doesn't take much to get it to do what you want. Very responsive, light on the controls. Um, yeah. It has a center stick. It's, it's a center seeing. stick. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but it is a center stick. And I'm going to lift um, up something here for the camera. Uh, we just going to raise this little knob right here. It folds down out of the way, which that's a nice thing. Yep. So this is your throttle, is it not? Correct. Yes, okay. So, so instead of a joystick, you have the throttle there. Correct. So you can give it full power there and then. Once you bring it to cruise, you can lay that down outside of the way, and then you just, you know, huh? need to, you can hold the stick or have just nothing in between your legs, which is nice, right? Yeah, For yeah. longer, longer trip. That's one feature I do like, and I'm glad you pointed that out. What does it stall at, Alex? Uh, right around 35. 35? Yeah. Knots so or very, miles an hour? Uh, that's miles an hour. Miles an hour. Okay, so yeah. that's a very slow stall. Speed. Very slow. It's like um, 30 knots or something. Yeah, and like I said, part of that is because of how light the airframe is to begin with. So, obviously, um, how light is it? So it just weighs right about 720 pounds. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so in in the LSA light. space, that's a fairly low number. Yeah, that's a, and it holds 23 gallons of fuel, so I mean, you can, you can carry quite a bit with it. Yeah. So 23 gallons of fuel, a Rotax engine, that's good four hours of flying Easy. with a with a generous reserve. Yep, and you're doing, like I said, 90 to 100 knots on yeah. um, airspeed, so yeah. you're moving. Pretty good. What we have here, I believe, Alex, is an experimental aircraft, because this one's been in the country for a while. Correct. So um, this is experimental exhibition category exhibition, on this, okay. this, this aircraft. Because it came to you fully built. Correct. You, correct. you acquired it. Okay. Um, so we do have two that are on order, as okay. I mentioned previously. So those are coming. As soon as those arrive, one of those will be used for the first auto inspection. So all of the testing, all of the data, and all of that was really being able to be as far as this, as well as the it. So we have everything completed for the SLC process. We just need that newer airframe that meets those risks. Sure, well, if it's flying in Germany, it's already achieved a certain level of approval. It's, yeah. it's not identical to ours, but it's very similar. So yeah, as you know, European standards are very stringent on that. Yeah, and they would have all the documents they need to approve right. that. So it should be a fairly easy, but uh, for those that wonder if Alex is just blowing some smoke here, he's already achieved this on his own with the Aventura. So uh, you know how to do this process, yes. and you got that done quite efficiently. So. With the support of the factory over in Germany, I would think that's not going to be a problem. No. You got any idea when those airplanes are going to arrive? Yes, uh, right I mean, now we're everything actually... in shipping right now is in turmoil. We all know this, but anyway, please continue. So oddly enough, I, I just got shipping close this morning, as I, as I told you. So we're working on that now. Logistically, I would expect by June, June uh, okay. July time frame. So I don't know if we're going to have the new ones at Oshkosh or if this one will be the one that we fly to Oshkosh. But ideally, that'd be around the time frame we expect them to be in country. Okay. So the lead pretty, time, pretty soon is the point. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And the lead time is very, they, they actually have quite a few airplanes that they've ramped up production over the COVID years to get back. Um, so that's been a plus for us because now we don't, the only lead time that we're relying on is some of the small pieces that, uh, that they manufacture over there. Okay. But the airframes themselves are pretty much in stock. So we're looking at a 90 day kind of lead time to get oh, the ship and okay. that, that counts in about three to four weeks worth of shipping time so it really can vary there but for the most part you can get it in under five months. Yeah that I would say so. in, in, in this space in most aviation spaces that's pretty quick delivery actually. It, I, it really is yeah. and especially with an aircraft that, that is as I would say technically um, advanced when it comes to the construction methods as this one is so okay. it's very respectful. Cool. So, well, where do we keep learning not only about this one, but your entire growing flock of airplanes here? I don't know how you're keeping all the balls in the air here, Alex. But you uh, do well, I have help, it, so. so it's not just me, but I'll have to throw out some credit. Yes, you do have a whole um, staff. I do I have a lot of people that, that help me out here. But um, yes. And your partner, another guy named Alex. I mean, he's been with you a long time. So. Yeah. Yeah, we've been doing. We have a we have a great team. So that, that's the only way this is actually possible. As as I told you, we brought in six airplanes to the show. So you can imagine, I can't fly six airplanes at once. Obviously, that's that's where my limit, I guess, is is there. So we do have help and a great team. But uh, we do have a website that encompasses all the aircraft. It's, it's ideally designed for manufacturers, but it does have all the information on all the aircraft. And that's uh, www.aeroaffinity, and that's spelled A-E-R-O, affinity.com. Oh, okay. All right, great. Well, so look for that on this airplane, and 
All of these airplanes I'm looking at here over Alex's shoulder, the Montera, the Fusion, the Aventura, with, that's the S-17, but several models of that, and the uh, Speed Cruiser, now going to be called the Journey. All of that stuff is available on bydanjohnson.com with a lot of other affordable aviation. Thanks for joining Alex Rolinski and myself here at Sun and Fun.